Hi, my name is Daryl, and this is another Fit Tip of the Day. Today, I would like to talk about dysfunctional movement patterns and causes of muscle imbalances throughout the kinetic chain. There are a number of factors involved in dysfunctional movement patterns. Not understanding how the body works and what exercises are appropriate to perform can result in the following. Pattern overload, poor technical skill, decreased recovery and regeneration following activity, repetitive movement cycles, lack of core strength, immobilization, and accumulated trauma, lack of neuromuscular control, and postural stress. There are three distinct kinetic chain dysfunctional patterns that I see many people are developing because of poor biomechanics through their training. Reciprocal inhibition, synergistic dominance, and orthrokinetic dysfunction. Reciprocal inhibition refers to muscle inhibition caused by a tight agonist, the muscle that's causing the movement, which decreases the neural drive of its functional antagonist, the muscle that's opposing the movement. This results in an altered force-couple relationship and leads to the development of faulty movement patterns and poor neuromuscular control. A good example of reciprocal inhibition would be a sprinter going at a high intensity and then all of a sudden a misfire of the motor units occur which then causes contraction of both the quadriceps and the hamstrings at the same time. The muscle that is stronger will overpower the lesser muscle which could lead to a tear in that weaker muscle. The next common issue I see with faulty movement patterns is synergistic dominance. Synergistic dominance is the neuromuscular phenomenon that occurs when a synergist takes over function for a weak or inhibited prime mover. This leads to tissue overload, decreased neuromuscular e efficiency, and or injury. I will use the example of the bicep curl to help you better understand this concept. When curling a dumbbell, the prime mover is the bicep. This is also known as the agonist. The tricep is relaxed during this contraction cycle and allows the bicep to contract fully. The tricep is the antagonist. The bicep can't be the only muscle to fire off though. There are synergists that help assist the bicep muscle to contract during a bicep curl. In this example, the forearm flexors would be the synergist. A faulty movement pattern would occur if for some reason the prime mover is not firing due to insufficient motor unit firing or as a result of an injury. The smaller secondary muscles, the synergist, would then try to take on the full responsibility of completing the contraction cycle. But in most cases, the synergists are too weak to support the high intense loads that the responsibility of the prime mover was supposed to do, which oftentimes will result in injury or dysfunction of the kinetic chain. The third movement pattern is arthrokinetic dysfunction. Arthrokinetic dysfunction is a biomechanical dysfunction in two articulated partners resulting in abnormal joint movement and poor proprioception. If the joints are not functioning through a fluid movement pattern, this will throw off the normal contraction cycle of the supporting muscles, causing imbalance and instability issues. Overall, reciprocal inhibition, synergistic dominance, and orthokinetic dysfunction are three common faulty movement patterns that can weaken the kinetic chain. However, by adhering to an integrated functional training program, these three faulty movement dysfunctions can be resolved, allowing for greater kinetic chain movement patterns as well as better performance on the field or just in life it's in general. I would strongly suggest that a person who is not familiar with the proper training programming of functional training, they should consult an educated fitness specialist who is trained in identifying and resolving faulty movement patterns. If you have any questions about today's blog, please feel free to email me. You can find my email on my website at www.darylconnett.com.
Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.